All right, everyone, hello, and this is Shepard, and I'm just kind of filling out another short video here. I've been getting a lot of questions about what's the best way to build your dogs, and I thought this is an interesting question, you know, uh, between dogs and cats. Cats, of course, provide quite a bit of utility, uh, so much so to the point that if you're going to use them, you're using them for an express purpose. That being said, if you're fighting afflicted, you know, you're not going to get nearly as much of a benefit out of stealing from the monsters. You can't get the afflicted drops in that way. So in a lot of cases, you just want to kill them as quickly as possible. And if that is the case, uh, double dogs is the way to go. So when we're taking a look at the dogs and we're trying to absolutely maximize their damage output, uh, there's a couple pieces of their gear and there's a couple different stat boosts that you want to give them as you're building them up. So gear is mostly straightforward. What we're really shooting for here is the Palamut Silk Binder first. This gives them a little ability to occasionally ensnare the monster with a Silk Binder. Uh, this can be very nice. It can lock them down in place. It can also help uh, provoke a, a wire bug state as well. Both of which are, are very helpful uh, during the quest. Uh, secondarily, you have a little bit more of a freedom in this slot. I almost always go with Blitz Scroll. Um, you know, it's just going to make your attacks come out that much faster. Uh, if you wanted to try and switch to another ability, uh, I could see there probably being some utility there. Of course, the Guarding Parasol was very good in base rise, although I do not think this is going to scale as well as Silk Binder because one's going to be getting you in melee range. The other one's going to be ranged r attack. Uh, and so they, they don't really complement each other nearly as well. You know, I've not really tested Heavy Strike or Flurry Strike quite as much, uh, but I have a hard time believing that those attacks are going to actually uh, increase the damage over just being faster in general. As far as the actual uh, abilities and skills, I'm going to get into this a little bit more as we compare the different weapon types that you can go with, uh, but essentially range-centric, attack up large and small, ranged attack up and piercing attack up, it's going to have the overall best effect in terms of giving you the highest possible damage. Of course, if you're going to be running a status weapon and for some reason you really want to have possibly an additional status proc go off, you could of course put status attack up on both of the dogs. Uh, but in general, I don't really feel like that's necessary compared to the just straight up additional damage you're going to get from attack up large and attack up small. I did do some testing trying to compare uh, the overall strongest uh, raw damage weapon on the on the dogs. So overall strongest raw damage is going to be the Ibushi Pure Sword. Uh, this has 295 ranged attack with 18 dragon, which you know procs often enough on most monsters. You get a little bit of a benefit there. I compared that with the Narwa Pure Staff, which is 275 raw, so not that much less, and 26 thunder. Uh, and then, in this case, trying to use an element attack up to see how far and well it goes, if we're assuming we're attacking a Pookie Pookie's head. Um, you're not really getting much benefit by going into element as all, uh, compared to just going in with pure raw. Not only that, in my testing I found things were a little bit interesting, even though they're attacking at range, uh, the attacks that they do, even with their little ballistas, end up following whatever attack type they have. So. If they have a cutting weapon, it's going to be doing cutting hit zones the entire way through, even on their little silk binder piercing shots. Likewise, if they have a blunt weapon, it's going to be doing blunt damage all the way through, even on a piercing shot. Uh, to know the blunt attacks do KO on the monster. So if you're able to hit them enough with the KO attacks on the head, uh, you may eventually actually get a free KO as well if you're using an impact weapon. That being said, there's really only three choices, possibly four choices that I would consider on the uh, dogs. Uh, if you don't really want to be bothered with doing any of these statuses at all, uh, like I said before, the Abushi Pure Sword is the way to go for just pure raw. Uh, it hits at 46 piercing with cutting, uh, assuming a 75% hit zone. Uh, next up in terms of damage, if you want to do a little bit of a compromise, the Jelly Travel Bag is 255 ranged ability with 16 paralysis. A little benefit on this one is its impact, so you might get a KO. Uh, consequently though, you know, blunt is normally only ever a good hit zone on the head, so as it travels through the body, you might end up finding that you're doing a little bit less damage than just doing the pure sword there. 
Finally, if you're trying to go for the absolute most number of status procs, uh, the Disastro Bell uh, has 20 less raw than the Paralysis Bag, but it has 23 sleep, so that's seven more status, which will definitely get you one more status proc on most matchups, uh, disregarding any sort of majorly status weak monster. You know, the choice between paralysis and sleep, I could go either way. Sleep, of course, is almost long enough as a paralysis on some monsters as they're falling asleep and then gives you the ability to do a wake up. But for those of you who you know don't really like having the flow state of combat changing quite so often like that, uh, I could definitely see going paralysis. As for myself going forward, I think I am just going to start running the Jelly Travel Bag with that setup I showed before. Uh, one paralysis is plenty for me in each fight. Again, when you're getting constant sleeps, it feels like the flow of combat is getting reset over and over again, and you're constantly going to be compelled to keep up your purple sharpness and line up wake-up attacks. And while those are all effective and they help make harder quests much easier, and so if you're struggling, definitely consider that. Um, for my money, I'm just going to keep using the Jelly Travel Bags, I think, going forward. All right, any questions about dogs or cats, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you like the video, this was a short one, so go, hey, throw a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Stream on Twitch almost every day. I'd love to see you over there. Otherwise, until next time, this is Shepard saying good luck and have a good hunt.